Hello friends, welcome to Square Plans, where creative planning and organization comes to life. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be designing a horizontal layout for the next week of August in my agenda planner. So come plan with me. And I've got these mild liners here ready to go. Along with this Tombow brush pen I may use. Some various washies as well. This watercolor set with a paintbrush, a Happy Planner sticker book, and a Plenty Things sticker book, which I'll pull from. Okay, let's go ahead and lay down some wax paper and get started on this week's design. I've pulled a couple of sticker books for a back to school theme. I have some ideas for using the watercolors with this theme, so we will see if it all comes together. But for now, let's go ahead and start off with the basics of the layout, putting in some foundational stickers here using the black boxes as that main kind of foundation. Thankfully, I have this sticker book from Planning Thing that's all black boxes, so I can have my pick of what works and just kind of drop things in where they fit. Uh, I wasn't really sure how I was going to formulate this layout, but I think I'm going to do kind of like a long column down the center on both pages and then tuck in some decor items in and amongst these black boxes. I grabbed this sticker book recently in my Happy Planner summer sale haul that I got. I, I think it is an older sticker book, maybe from last year's Back to School, but I really liked the black and white elements in the sticker book. I thought that those could be used on different spreads, not just necessarily a Back to School spread, even though this is a teacher kind of school themed sticker book. So. What I am going to start with is pulling in just some random back to school items that I think kind of fit in a classroom setting and layering those around these black boxes. Again, not exactly sure yet how this is all going to come together. So uh, definitely working things out here on camera, figuring out the design as we go. And I do kind of like the variations of box sizes that I'm using here. So I definitely want to do that again on the right-handed page. But one thing I kind of noticed is that the smaller black boxes were a little bit thicker outlined than the others. I'm just going to trim them down a smidge just so that they feel like they're the same weight as the other boxes that I'll be using there. And I think I like that combination of boxes and layering. So we'll start with that and start adding in some various decor, like I said. But I do think I want the boxes to flow off the page. So I'm just going to modify the wax paper, shift it up a little bit instead of trying to pick up the whole thing and readjust it so that I can get the visual of how I want it to look on the page. So again, I'm cutting down this other smaller black box so it looks slightly thinner. And figuring out what we're going to do on this page as far as the structure here for the decor. I think I want to have a nice large quote at the bottom. So maybe I'll stick with just three boxes on this side. And I saw maybe a quote that might work talking about lessons. The weight is good, but I don't know if the style really works with the rest of the line art, so second guessed that and put that back. I think I'll probably pull something out from the Happy Planner sticker book for quotes, just so that it has a nice similar feel to the rest of the stickers. And I was going to go kind of light with the decor at first, just scattering it around. But then I felt like it needed more. So as we go, I'll start adding more and more stickers in just so that the decor is very prominent. 
I do like it as it is now, but I do feel like it needed a little more oomph because I don't have a ton else to add to the spread aside from color. So we'll figure out the layout and then we'll add the color at the end. There are a few things that I noticed too in the sticker book. There is a lot of repeated stickers in various sizes. So you might have like that planner I just tucked in there in a smaller size, a big size, and like a medium size. So I was trying to visually put anything that was smaller near the top. And then the closer you get to the bottom, that's when I was trying to use the bigger items. Uh, just so it gave a little bit of depth to the layout as well, making you think that the things are kind of farther away visually. I mean, it's not super, super prevalent, but it was something I was thinking about as I was developing the spread, so I thought I'd mention that. And again, I wanted a larger quote for the bottom, and I think this is really the only one that's gonna fit the bill as far as what I want the look to be. So I'll put it in, even though it really doesn't say anything about back to school or is very teacher focused. I'm not a teacher, so it's not specific to me, but I still feel like it gives a good back to school vibes. So like I said, I started off with not that much decor and then just felt like I needed more. So you're gonna see me tuck in just various items on each side here to fill things out a bit more. I'm trying not to repeat any of the same items on each side, but I do have duplicates on the left versus the right. So each side might have two of the same style of sticker, but I was trying to think about that in the scale of what I was putting in as well. So that if I was using a larger, say pencil on one side, I would use the smaller version on the opposite side just more for that random vibe that I was going for as well too so that it didn't look like a complete mirror from one side to another. And kind of bookmarked the pages there with my tweezers, the ones that have the paper stickers and the designs I wanted to use. So I'm just flipping back and forth trying to figure out what might work best and where. Also too, thinking about where I'm gonna put the functional items on this spread. So trying to keep that in mind as I'm laying out the decor. I am thinking checklists are gonna go kind of in this inside area near the spine on all of the days and then the outside areas being a little bit smaller in functional space will have my focus for the day or any kind of like highlight I need to bring up maybe like my workout or something like that. I also have these large boxes so in there I can also put added functionality which is great and allows me to really get the most out of the spread using those boxes for both decor and function. Well, I went ahead and changed out a few items, but I think we're getting pretty close here. Just gonna quickly skim through, see if there's anything else I wanna add in. I do like this protractor style ruler. I like the shape of it. I think it adds a little something, so I'll bring that in as well. And now let's go ahead and try out some of these washi tapes that I pulled. Thought I might use this newer one that I got with this rainbow of colors and blobs, but I think it's just a little too busy. So I'm gonna stick with more of the solid color Happy Planner washi that I have here, layered up with some washi tape I got from my local Daiso. That washi tape, it's got just like a bunch of random school supplies on it, but in like black and white, super cute. 
but I don't think I'm going to end up having a link for it. If you live somewhere where there is a Daiso store in your neighborhood, do check that place out. I always find such like cute and unique stationary items there, and that's where I had found this one previously. They don't currently have anything online. I'm not sure what's going on, but they did for a while and then they took the site down. So I, I'm unable to really find links anymore for these Daiso products. I've layered in a few areas with those washi tape and colorful washi just to make it look a little bit more interesting in those areas. And now I'll go ahead and actually stick down the stickers onto the spread, just rolling them off from the wax paper. A few things to note. As I get this off, I am trying to make sure that I'm not pulling anything out of sorts when I roll the stickers off. Sometimes when you have something lined up fairly straight, you've got to you know, position it by hand because when you're rolling, you have a little less control. So that is one thing I keep in mind. And as you can see, I make adjustments specifically to those washi tapes that kind of got a little bit askew. Also doing a little bit of trimming on them so they look cleaner. And we'll do the other side now. I do want that top box to be flowing off the page as well. So I will position the stickers a little bit higher than they were on the wax paper. enough to get that vibe of things flowing from off page. And again, just gonna go ahead and roll these guys off. Taking my time here. Make sure everything is as straight and neat as I want it to be. It's going pretty well. The roll off technique is really great when all of your stickers are touching, makes it a lot smoother. Whenever I create a spread like that, I do tend to like to roll them off when I'm done. I did decide to move this washi tape strip to the very bottom, just kind of hover up the quote I ended up whiting out. That white out I got from Staples a long time ago. So if you were eyeballing that white out situation, most white out pen, um, I'll try to find a link, but it was out of stock the last time that I looked up the link. So um, just keep that in mind too. If that's something that caught your eye. I'll go ahead and trim off the edges of anything hanging off. And now I'll go through with my mild liners and add in some color with those. And I pulled these colors right from the washi tape I ended up using. So that will be the color scheme that we're gonna focus in on the washi tape has a little bit of a rainbow effect, even though it's not a true rainbow. We're using kind of a pink to an orange, yellow to a green, and then to a like turquoise blue. So those are the colors that I pulled in and I made an adjustment there on the very first set because they were a little bit off the line of the other ones, just so that it looked a little bit more even. And now we're into the watercolor. So I have this set of Arteza watercolors that I thought would be fun to use to add in some color to these stickers. Now I've learned in the past that it's best to watercolor once the stickers are already on the page, 
and to use a real light touch with the water not too heavy so much that the sticker kind of bubbles up or uh, that the water bleeds through onto the page. If you paint with, you know, a relative amount of dryness to your watercolor, you won't have any problems with your stickers at all. So I have done this in the past and remembered from lessons learned, I once painted them while they were still on the wax paper. That was a total mistake. Make sure that they are already set on your page before you go in with your watercolor. But that said, I just thought it would be kind of fun to see how this comes out. I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do as far as the actual colors, but decided again to match them up with the colors from that washi tape as my base colors, and then just use those throughout. So I just used my little guide to figure out what colors would best match the colors from that washi and in the mild liners and I'm just going to pepper those around on the various black and white school supplies to get a look of watercolor stickers. I'm not using any special techniques either here, so I really don't have a lot of skill in watercolor, but I do think it's kind of fun to play around with things, try new ideas, especially with mixed media, just to make things a little more interesting in my planner. Sometimes I get bored with just stickers on stickers, so bringing in a little extra creativity is always fun, and also I always learn something new with that process. And I wasn't sure too about how I wanted to color these. Originally I was thinking I was gonna stick with like one color per sticker. So like the backpack for example would be all pink and maybe the globe would be all blue. But then as I was actually building out the colors, I really felt the need to mix and match some colors within some of the items. So to create more of like a coloring book look with the watercolor. And I do think that that worked out well in the end, although that wasn't my initial intention. So just having some fun with this. Like I said, trying to keep a light touch with the water, not saturating the stickers too much. You can maybe see the apple in the bottom right, how it's bubbling up a little bit. So that one had a little bit too much water but the rest, for the most part, really held up well. I'll just go ahead and stick them all down once again with the sticker spatula and make sure that everything is well adhered. And finally add in just a little more texture using my Tombow brush pen for a little bit more. I thought about this after the fact. What might have been even cuter is to use a little splatter with the watercolor on the page just to give that different kind of texture look but i had pulled the tombow brush pen initially to match up with the washi so i wanted to get that in and use that up so that's going to do it for us friends i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up down below also to go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already if you'd like to see more of my videos thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it and we will see you next time bye